Hey guys, welcome to the new comic book review. Today we're doing Batman Detective Comic 1015. So let's jump into it. Continuing off these freeze arc. So Batman is fighting these guys. He has this one guy, he beat him up pretty good. And he basically is like, that's what's gonna, he sees, and he points him to this other guy. It's like, that's what's gonna happen to you if you don't listen to me and tell me everything I need to know. And it's a dead guy. And it's like, oh shit, Batman killed somebody. I'm like, whoa, that's how you start your issue. Batman presumably killed somebody. Oh shit, that's a great way to start the book. But then he um, takes them up really high, it's like, I'm gonna drop you if you don't do what you say. And he basically tells them, and then by the end of it, he ties them all off, and then we figure out the guy who was dead is actually Alfred just in the guy since he's pretending to be dead, and I'm like, that's actually kinda cool, I've never seen Alfred pretend to play a dead guy before like that, I'm like, that's actually an interesting use. And that's also like, when they, when they actually use Alfred sometimes, because it seems like they never use Alfred, like Alfred's just using in the cave. I like once in a while when he's out and about and actually helping, so that's nice. So they go off, and they go back to, and then we cut to the Gotham Pine Barons, which does him doing his stuff, be like, uh, he's kind of like, I'm gonna save Nora, da, da, da. and we see Batman come in with a giant, like, flame, he has a suit that shoots fire off, because it's, obviously, he's fighting Captain Cole, so that makes so much sense. He has a flame suit, what's really awesome, I'm like, this is a fucking awesome suit, and I'm not gonna say it's not, because it is, and then we cut to the point of he's like, hey, you need to get the girls back to that. I'm not done yet. You can't do this. So basically, he puts a button on a bunch of like these weird creatures. I don't know if they're not, they're not zombies, but weird like creatures saying it's coming to attack Batman that he's made. Kind of like, like oh shit, creature shit. That's not good. And so he's dealing with them. So basically, he takes Nora and gets away. And then Batman eventually gets these guys at least. Sorts them out, do some things where he like sorts them all out. So he goes and gets into his little um, bike thing, snow bike, snowmobile, and goes off and tries to stop him. But obviously he has a plan, so he made a thing where he crafts them and like jumps off the snowmobile. I think he's on the top of the of uh, uh, the freezes vehicle he's using to get away. Basically, crafts them around and that freezes him and they sinks him to like the bottom of the ocean and then he falls in a thing to like a big light thing to kind of a big thing to freeze him so it's like oh shit Batman is now frozen under the water so he's kind of oh shit is he fucked and obviously if Mr. Freeze escapes and then Batman eventually he gets out because he obviously his suit has a big the big bathroom on him it can like heat up so it heats him out of this thing but he's like okay well now he is gone but he's like okay let me come back to uh, the Gotham City, um, because the back cave and the obviously you have all the frozen girls there and everything. Like, they're all here, everything's here, that's frozen. We're gonna cry and fix them. We're gonna cry when it's like, no, when we revive them and unfreeze them. So, they're crying, they're eventually gonna unfreeze them and stuff. I'm like, cool, I hope you do it soon because it's that'd be a kind of thing, it'll be like interesting. And also, they make a flask, he wears outfit, make a wears, makes outfit wear a mask. Because, hey, just because they're frozen doesn't mean they can't see us and hear us and whatever. So that's why we can't do anything to, you know, show who you are. Because they see who you are, and it's like, oh, you're Batman. Because they might still be able to see or hear us while they're in this canatonic state. So we gotta keep it a secret identity kind of thing. And then we find out that, uh... And they, I love the Mackie pick, it's the flash. It's like... Okay, what did he say? Because you know he says it, and, uh... I know he says that we have to gather That's the best Mac you could find. Like he says that's the best Mac you could find. And it's a flash Mac, so he's playing like a flash Mac. I'm like that's kinda kinda cool. Kinda cute. Like I like that. Kinda fun. And then we see in the next page we have uh, the last part of the book we see deeper in like Gotham Pine Man. We see um uh, Mr. Freed and his wife, Nora. He does a bunch of stuff to her, gives her some stuff. Gives us John all the stuff to try to, I guess, maybe fix her, maybe unsolve, whatever. And then she comes back, like, Victor, don't! So I'm like, oh, it's his next awake. I'm like, it's he alive now! So what happens then? Are you just gonna be like, I'm not gonna be a villain anymore? I saved her. You, I can, I was like, at this point, I'm like, I would be like, yo, I just saved my wife. I will help you. It's the thing, if he did save his wife, I'm gonna see what happens. I'm kinda curious what happens next. It's like, is he still gonna be a villain? Is he gonna be 100% okay? Is he still gonna have stuff? I was like, I don't know. I'm kind of really curious to see where this is gonna go. So this has been great. Like I said, I've been enjoying this book. Batman's been great. Detective Comics by um, Doug and um, Tomasi has been great. I mean Tomasi and Doug, I guess. Cause you know, I guess you, do you say Ryan's first or Ryan's first? I guess it doesn't matter. Either way, 
they've been great on this book. Uh, love them. So, I gotta give this book, I will give my rating for 1013. I actually enjoyed this one. I'm going a little last issue. I feel like a lot more happened in this issue, and I love the bastard, like the like the bastard with like the big flame from it. Oh, that's, that alone, it gives me a high, and all gives me a, gonna give it a high rating. And this book was really awesome, fun. That's a lot of great stuff in this issue. I just love this issue. So, I'm gonna give it a 10. I really enjoyed this issue. Yeah, so it's really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, I love Batman, Tesla, 2015. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think of the Detective Comics 2015? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. You guys can always stay happy. I'm gonna see you next video, guys. Bye.